We're in the creative corner of the Suede Palace right now with Charlie the One-Armed Bandit, Pinstriper Extraordinaire. How you doing, my man? Doing pretty good, Chris. Thanks. You're not only uh, just like kind of selling stuff here, you're actually working. You're striping this skull for another hub member, Max Grundy. That's pretty cool. You guys are buddies? Yeah, we're buddies. I'm staying out uh, at his place while I'm out here in uh, L.A. Having a good time at the show. Well, tell us about pinstriping. How long have you been doing it? I've been striping about 13 years. I started when I was about 16 and uh, had some influence through some uh, uncles uh, in my family. And uh, I stripe a lot of hot rods, and I'll stripe anything. As you can see, I've got this skull I'm striping up. So uh, I travel around. I do shows uh, almost every weekend and uh, have a good time with it. Meet a lot of good people. Now, obviously, you're into that um, the, the roadster kind of lifestyle. You've got the uh, hotrodrevival.com as a website that you started kind of dedicated to that era of the car. What, what fascinates you about that era? I grew up around the traditional hot rodding, and uh, I just love it. It's, uh, it's a good time. I have a 54 Buick at home, and... Uh, you know, I like to cruise and uh, like to have a good time with it. I imagine that 54 Buick's got some pretty badass pinstriping on it. Yeah, no, on the nose and deck, and it's a mild custom, so it's a pretty good-looking little car. Yeah. Now, if the hubheads out there want to get a hold of you, maybe have uh, you stripe something for them, how would they do that? Uh, you can go to onearmbanditpinstriping.com and check me out, and uh, or you can Google me and you'll see, uh, see me all over the computer. Uh, Charlie, I know that you've got a garage up on the hub as well, right? Right. And what's the name of that garage? Uh, One Arm Bandit Pinstriping. Yeah, well, good luck to you, dude. You can do some fine work. This is pretty cool. It's always awesome to see a pinstriper doing it in person because when you see the finished product, it's so intricate. You can't quite understand where they start and where they finish. But well, let me ask you one more question. Do you have a particular starting point when you're striping something? Uh, I usually start uh, from the middle and work, work my way out. And do you have the entire concept in your mind before you start, or do you kind of just feel it along as you go? Just go with it. Kind of just go with it, yeah. And what's the most unusual thing you've ever striped? I stripe anything, as you can see, from a skull to a bowling pin to a helmet to a motorcycle to a car. I stripe anything. Any uh, ladies ask you to stripe any part of their anatomy? Yeah, I've striped a little bit of anatomy. <laughs> I love that, man. All right, Charlie, the worn arm banded pin striper. Check him out on the hub or at his website. This is Chris from the Grand National Roaster Show. Coolest car community on the net. Hey, this is Charlie Decker, one arm bandit. You're watching Hub TV.